Today I'm going to show you how to install a plastic old workbox in sheetrock. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to discuss old workboxes. An old workbox is used in an existing home, office, any type of space that has sheetrock in it that you can't access the studs. Okay, so what do you do? You install an old workbox. This demonstration, I'm just going to show you how to cut it in, how to measure it up so that you can get an idea on how to cut them in. Unfortunately, this is one of those things that with experience and time, you'll be able to understand them better. With that being said, I have a piece of sheetrock and I'm going to show you how to set up and cut out an old workbox. Okay, there's a couple of things you're going to need. Once you know you have your piece of sheetrock, you know, obviously this is a piece of sheetrock. We're going to have a whole wall that's going to be covered. You know, your wire may have to be snaked down from another floor or up, however it may be. And eventually we'll do more videos that will show that type of work. But right now, people just keep asking me, well, how do you cut in an old work box? So I'm going to show you. You need a few tools, okay? You need to invest in a torpedo level. This is a nine inch torpedo level. You need to invest in a wallboard saw or a keyhole saw as other well known. Now, this is a little bit more of an aggressive type wallboard saw uh, and it's actually made by wallboard. Um, these things run about 20 bucks. I highly recommend it if you're gonna be doing a lot of cutting in of old work boxes. And you're always gonna need that pencil. I always tell everybody, do not, do not use a Sharpie or a marker on a sheetrock wall. Because if you make a mistake, it's gonna take a lot of paint to get that covered up so nobody sees you made a mistake. Because here's the thing, we don't know where the studs are, but we can knock all day long, we can you know, put a stud finder up there, they're not 100%. So I'm gonna show you the best way to cut in an old work box. Okay, so I've determined this is where I wanna put my, my uh, old work box, okay? I've determined that there's no studs here. Well, I don't know that they're not there because I can't see behind it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm going to put my box up, I'm going to take my level and I'm going to put it on the box and I'm going to make sure that my box is level. Once my box is level, I'm going to trace it out. And I'm sure you're asking, what do I trace out? Well, I'm going to show you. Start with the top. You're going to come down the side. You're going to score the bottom and do the other side. Now if you look at the box, you can see that these ears is what actually is stuck, you know, what, what sticks onto the sheetrock. All of this material here has to be cut out. So when I'm looking at the box, I'm going to actually make my mark to here and here in order to slide the box in. Now that I have my mark, you can see that I have an open spot. So what I like to do is I like to take my old work box and set it up flush against the wall on that line and make my mark. Now my mark is complete. The first thing I'm gonna do now is I am gonna cut across the top or the bottom, it doesn't really matter. You never wanna cut down the sides because here's the thing. If I start cutting halfway through here and I hit a stud, using, again, a pencil, all I have to do is move my box over and redraw my box out. 
then all I have to do is erase this, maybe do a little bit of touch-up paint and it'll be good to go. But now I can move my box over so that I know I'm outside of the stud. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the bottom and I'm gonna go to the end and I'm gonna go right to the corner and I'm gonna just kind of rock it until I get all the way through. Once I get all the way through, I'm just going to cut across that line. And as you can see, I didn't hit anything. So by doing that, now I can do the same thing here and I can twist my way all the way through. Cut down. Cut over. And cut out. Okay, now that I'm cut out, my old work box should slide in. So you want to make sure that your wings are folded back. And I slide it right in to my hole with no problem. My outlet is set in place. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take these two screws and you're going to tighten them down. For this we can be very easy with a drill. Now my box is locked in place. Now we're behind the wall. Now we can see our wings. Our wings are what actually holds the box to the wall. This is what the box looks like inside the wall. Not a lot of people get to see the way this actually goes together. It's important you understand that these wings are pressed tight against and your hole is not actually too big. If your hole's too big, your box will fall through. And if that's the case, now you're gonna have to patch sheetrock. Now in a typical fashion, you would have your wire hanging out already and you know, you'd slide your wire up, the box up onto the wire, you'd slide your wire in, or slide your box in, then you would tighten down your screws. A lot of times you can do this with a, uh, with a screwdriver, but I'm telling you, you're gonna definitely wanna do it with a drill. Just wanna make sure your wings don't get flipped over because what you'll end up doing is you'll run the screw through the plastic, you'll open up that plastic wing and it won't ever hold tight to the wall. You want to make sure you can't pull this box out of this wall. Because it's important when you add your outlet here or your switch, whatever it may be, you're going to have, you're going to have an issue. So you want to make sure that this is nice and solid so that your outlet is solid. It's important you understand that. I hope this video helped you. I hope it gave you a little understanding on how to at least cut in an old work box. Plastic, metal, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the techniques are a little bit different. Today I just showed you how to cut in a plastic old work box. Maybe in another video we'll do a metal old work box. For the most part, most residential dwellings, you're gonna use the plastic and in a commercial aspect, you're gonna use the metal boxes. Again, as we start adding more videos, we'll start talking about different types of components, which will actually help you make your job that much easier when, you, when you're in the field. I hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do me a favor, hit, hit the subscribe button. And at the same time, right next to it, there's like a little bell. Go ahead and click that bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. I upload videos every Friday. Also, what you can do is you can send me an email at sparkyinstructor at gmail.com. The link will be down here somewhere or, you know. Um, this way here, you know, I can kind of keep in, in contact with people. I've gotten some really great emails from some of you subscribers that, you know, have been showing me different projects you've been working on, asking advice, and, you know, to be quite honest with you, I enjoy doing stuff like that. 
So if you want, go ahead and send me an email. Also, let me know you're ready for my newsletter. My newsletter should be ready soon, guys. It's been a crazy month so far. Um, you know, short month in February, trying to get everything all squared away. Had a couple of refresher classes that I was working on uh, with some students who are ready to get their license. So things have been a little hectic. I'm just a one-man show, so, well, that's it. <laughs> have a great day and be safe.